This is a review about our all beloved MacBook Air M2. So it is currently, uh, currently uh, it was on the sale on Flipkart and Amazon for around 68,000 rupees. And if you get an exchange and you can get it for around 60,000 rupees. So I got it for 60,000 rupees. So is it worth it uh, buying the Air M2 for uh, 60,000 rupees or maybe the 68,000 rupees without the exchange? in 2025 so let's get into it first of all let's talk about the design so it is the all aluminium body with 13.6 inches ranging from here to here and if you can see you are it is the minimalistic design and you can see there is no a fan vent because it does so yes it comes with a 4k 60 fps uh, 60 hertz screen so you you will be wondering oh i can get a i can get a 144 hertz screen or or a more so yes it is good for gaming majority of the apps runs on only 60 hertz so that just keep that in mind and of course you are if you are going for a gaming laptop yeah this is not this is not the gaming laptop you would wonder Okay, so it is altogether a productivity machine. So let's open the hinge and yes, it is one hand operation. Yes, so you get the 13.6 inch screen and it is one of the best screens I've ever looked into. Yeah, it is better than that. So you get a 1200 nits of peak brightness. So at outdoors, if you work outdoor, yeah, there may be an issue. And of course it doesn't have an anti-clear coating. So yeah, beware of that best feature is the 1080p webcam so you are in the good so if you get uh, if you do a lot of meetings yeah people want to appreciate yeah you have a very, very good camera yeah it is much more significantly upgraded than the 720p webcam which we had in the earlier models and you get the apple style notch as such you can see so you you can feel apple-ish it's very good for consuming consuming content so you're gonna love watching movies and of course you're gonna love watching youtube videos and maybe writing also so it is good for coding also you don't get so much of space but it is enough and of course you can always hook it to a 27 inch or 24 inch monitor as you can so you can buy a separate hub uh, you can connect right it right here and of course one more thing yeah so this is the magsafe it it is brought brought back here, brought back here. so yeah it is simple as that charging it is like a charm so it is one of the best chargers i've ever seen i don't know why other companies don't do this but yeah they should definitely learn from this so that's that's all about the design and yes now we're gonna talk about the m2 so why m2 so m m series chips were already very powerful and way more power efficient that's why i'm i was able to clock uh, around eight to ten hours of battery life without any just yes, so you don't have the uh, uh, fan here so yeah that saves the battery and it increases the battery life time so at all the time i run around two two projects minimum one is for back and one is for front and if you if you can relate to that and i have the two dev servers spinning at all the time and 15 tabs open on this m2 and yeah not to uh, forgot to mention that it is the 8 gb 256 G, uh, gb variant so yeah it is the base variant which you get for uh, 68,000 rupees. So you can get around 16 GB RAM variant in the Windows equivalent, but it is ample. So I have around two like uh, proper production grade projects running at all time and uh, around 10 to 15 tabs open in the browser. So it was easily uh, easily able to handle that at all costs. So people saying, yeah, of, of course you would need uh, more RAM. Yes, you can get the 16 GB variant, but uh, it loses the it uses the value for money uh, constraint so yeah you, sh you should definitely get a uh, so if you uh, you should definitely get the base variant only if you are uh, if you want to get the most out of your money of course and now if you if if it is good for coding yes definitely it is good so you get the 
most valuable thing that is the battery life and 1080p webcam for your meetings and m2 very powerful chip for handling your uh, development task so if you would uh, so it is good for web related uh, coding but not for uh, android so if you are spinning a uh, emulators like android emulators yeah so you would need the 16 gb variant and also it's not good for uh, video editing because you you would need that extra storage and it doesn't have one so that's that's the review for the processing power now we're gonna talk about the battery life so yes on peak brightness it can get up to and i think it has a power saving mode i don't know but yeah you'll get it for music it is one of the best speakers i've ever seen i've ever heard sorry so yes it's good for consuming content but but i think either way you're gonna put a earphone anyways so yeah but it's good if you're in the closed environment you can easily get out of it is it is all together a bundled uh, bundled deal for you so you get a very good battery life you get a good, very good screen you get a decent processor and you get a decent battery life and you get it all in a package with the apple ecosystem so it is hell of a, a deal for you so go ahead and buy the uh, m2 air in 2025 and you will be fine so thank you so much for watching have a good day